Are you sick and tired of playing vanilla Minecraft on your Mac? Here's what you need to do to add mods to your game. First thing we need to do is decide what mod loader we want to use. Now, two of the most popular currently are Forge and Fabric. The version you choose doesn't really matter, there are great mods for both, but it does matter when it comes time to selecting a mod. For example, some mods are only made for Minecraft Forge, while others are only made for Fabric. For this example, we're going to download Journey Map though, which has a version for both Forge and Fabric. We'll get to that in a minute though. For now, let's go ahead and download our mod loader. There will be a link to both Forge and Fabric in the description below, but for this video, I'm going to download Forge for Minecraft 1.20.1. To do that, I'll just come over to the recommended side and hit installer. This is going to start the download of Minecraft Forge. At this point, we can go ahead and close out of the tab. If you're downloading Fabric, this link will also be in the description below, and pretty much once you get them installed, it's a very similar process. If you're downloading Fabric, you would just need to hit download installer right here. Now we need to download the mod that we want to use. For this, I'm going to use Journey Map like I mentioned before. You'll want to ensure that the mod you're using is compatible with the mod loader you selected. Because this video we're going to be using Forge, I'm going to look for the version that is made for Forge for game version 1.20.1. And you can see the two right here, mod loaders and game version. So I'll click these three dots right here and I'll just hit download file. It will take us off to this next page and within five seconds it will start downloading our mod. Once these two mods are downloaded, we can go ahead and open our downloads folder by hitting command space and typing downloads. This will bring up our downloads folder where we can take both of these and drag them to our desktop. Go ahead and close out of Finder, and we can also close out of this tab. With these two documents up in the corner, you should see Forge and Journey Map. What we're going to do is right click on Forge 1.20.1 or Fabric 1.20.1, hover over Open With, and then you should see Java Launcher. Now, if you don't see Java Launcher when you hover over Open With, what that means is that you need to download Java. To do that, head to the link in the description below that says Download Java and scroll down to Java 17 and then hit Mac OS. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac Mini, which you would know by hitting Apple and about this Mac, it should say M something right here. Now, it may say M1, it may say M2, it may say M1 Pro, whatever it may be. If it says M right here, that means you need to download the ARM version of this. If it says Intel, you need Need to download the x64 version. So in this situation, because I'm on an M or an Apple Silicon based Mac, that means I'd need to download the ARM64 DMG installer. If it had said Intel right there, I would need to download the x64 DMG installer. Once you run through the Java installation process, you should now be able to right click, open with, and hit Java installer. Now you may get this warning. It says Mac OS cannot identify the developer of Forge 1.20 or Fabric 1.20. Are you sure you want to open it? Now, as long as you download it from the link that we provided below and it says Forge or Fabric 1.20 or whatever version you're playing, it should be okay to go ahead and hit open. Now, if you're downloading Forge, you'll see this right here. It's the mod system installer. We want to select install client, and then we should just be able to leave this exactly where it is. This will install it to our Minecraft folder. Hit OK, it will go through the installation process. And while it's doing that, let's talk about our company, Simple Game Hosting. We started Simple Game Hosting with the goal of making Minecraft server hosting simple and easy for everyone. Our mission is to make it as simple as possible for you and your friends to play Minecraft online together. We have a one-click mod pack installer, a money back guarantee, live chat support, support, advanced DDoS protection, and unlimited player slots. To get started playing Minecraft on your own server today, head to thealtguides.com sgh and scroll down to where you see the find your perfect plan section. This is our RAM calculator. If you wanted to play a server with mods and you wanted two people with a light mod pack, that's also a four gigabyte server. Once you get everything configured and check out, you'll be able to start playing Minecraft online with your friends in a matter of minutes. Be sure to head to thealtguides.com sgh today for 25% off your first month. For now though, let's head back into setting up mods for Minecraft. Once it has finished installing, you should see a window here that says successfully installed client profile. Hit OK, and then Java should just close out on its own. At this point, what we need to do is open Minecraft, which we can do by hitting command space and typing Minecraft. This will open the Minecraft launcher where we should automatically see Forge or Fabric 1.20.1 selected here. However, if you don't, hit the installations tab and then make sure that you have modded selected under versions. If you still don't see it, that's okay. As long as it installed correctly, you should be able to hit new installation and we can just name this Forge test. 
At this point, we can hit version, and we should see something down here that says release 1.20.1 forge. Go ahead and hit that, and then I'll set a custom resolution to 1920 by 1080. Now, because we're playing modded, I'm going to go ahead and change the JVM arguments from 2 gigs to 4 gigs. That's going to dedicate 4 gigs of RAM to Minecraft. We can hit create, and now we can go ahead and launch this version that we started. Once we hit play, we are going to get a notice that says you're about to play a modded Minecraft version. I understand the risks, hit play. Once it's loaded in, you should now see a button under multiplayer that says mods. When you hit that, you're taken off to an interface that shows all of the mods that you have installed. Now, when we want to add a mod, we can just hit open mods folder and it should open up the folder with our mods. Now, we don't have anything installed in here right now, but we can drag our journey map directly into this folder right here. Then we can come back to Minecraft. Once you've put that in the folder, go ahead and hit done and then we need to quit Minecraft. And now, as unintuitive as it may seem, go ahead and hit command space and open up Minecraft again. Again. At this point, we can go ahead and hit play, and I figure I should explain why we had to quit out of Minecraft. Basically, anytime we add a new mod to our game, we'll need to restart our client. Now, when we hit the mods folder, we should see journey map right here. At this point, we can go ahead and load into our world or a multiplayer server. And there you can see we have journey map installed. As I roam around the world, it's loading the chunks in up in the map. But yeah, journey map is installed and running on our computer. And at this point, we have mods running in Minecraft on a Mac. If you have any questions about setting up mods with Minecraft on your Mac, be sure to leave a comment down below, but also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up on this video if it helped.